Sentinel House. That was the late journalist Alan Mendonca's going away gift to the literary world. This fictional book offers a peek into the trappings of the Indian media, a subject Alan knew best after close to 20 years of working in a Bangalore-based publishing house. The Madras Book Club brought Sentinel House to Chennai along with the late author's wife, Sandhya Medonsa. Veteran journalist and chronicler S. Muthaya released the book. I'm talking to the author's wife, Sandhya Medonsa, and she's going to tell me whether this book is in line with the climate that we are in. What climate? Well, the media expose climate. So, Sandhya, thank you for joining us on Chef Focus from NDTV Hindu. Can you tell me a little bit about the book in terms of the climate for media exposes? We just had a movie run by Amita Bachchan and now we have The Sentinel House. What's your comments on that? Well, actually, you know what? I haven't seen the movie and I would say the book predates the movie, though I wouldn't want to draw any comparison without seeing the movie yeah. and nobody else has read the whole book mm. before that movie came yeah. out. But uh, you know what? I think this is um, a story whose time has come. Uh, the media actually takes great glee in exposing things in other corporate mm -hmm. houses, other businesses and other industries mm -hmm. but they like to draw the carpet over a lot of yeah. things that happen within their own sure. you know, offices. Sure. The story unfolds in the setting of Cromwell, Kirby and Jackson, the biggest media publishing house in India. The plot revolves around Harry aka Hari Vansharai. A man with a dark secret. Don't you think it's high time you entered rehab or maybe become a card carrying member of Alcoholics Anonymous? Stop pontificating, you miserable son of a bitch. You drink in the office, you drink at lunch, and you drink before you return home. Harry grabbed a drink, sloshing it all over the exquisite deep piled cashmere carpet. Pinky leapt like a gazelle, slashing at his face with her shapely manicured fingernails, drawing blood. He slapped her hard across her cheek. She reeled and banged her head against the wall and blacked out. Shit, I think I've killed her, Harry thought. His mind was churning a plausible accident scenario when he heard a faint groan. Sentinel House is critiqued to be filled with history and trivia. The author, Alan Mendonca, was known to be a man who loved his job but hated the politics in his field. As a journalist, his columns were always bold and honest, and the book is an extension of his traits. Uh, one of the critics, Mrinal Pandey, has given a comment saying that it's a dark story. Now, she also mentions that if you're not someone from the field, it's going to be a little hard to grasp it. How would you say you're going to go about launching the book in terms of people understanding, people who are not in the media, like you and me, and how are they going to understand this book? Well, actually, I am in the media and so are you. Yes. So for us, uh, we would be able to connect, to, connect to it. But I think the audience today is so clued in. They know mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. It's nothing that needs to be, uh, you know, uh, see through or nothing yeah. that needs to be looked at in a microscopic way. Yes. It's a, any a half intelligent person would know it. Maybe there are allusions to certain mm -hmm. characters in the media mm -hmm. whom they might not get an insider's joke if you like. Yes. But that really doesn't take away from their enjoyment of mm -hmm. it. You know, they're always insider's jokes. There are always puns, even in TV serials, even yeah, in movies, yeah. that only the cast and the crew might know, mm -hmm. which they've just plugged it in. So it's like this. If you and I know it, it's good for us. But if he doesn't know it, it doesn't make a difference because he, the book still makes sense. It's not an no, obtuse it puzzle. Take away from it doesn't book. take away from it oh, at okay. all. Sentinel House can be a good read for those with a nose for news and love for fiction. Well, it's time to say goodbye on Shift Focus. I hope you enjoyed today's show because I have had a great time going to these events and bringing it to you. In the meantime, if you have anything you'd like to share with us, and remember, send us an email on feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. Until next week, this is Dipti saying goodbye and be good.